Good morning, beautiful earthlings. It's November 25th, day 35. Happy Thanksgiving to my Americans. Um, happy Indigenous Day, realistically. Um, I am going to leave this hotel and go to Chiste War Memorial. It's like 10 minutes away. And then I hope this hotel has breakfast for me even though it's 12 p.m. and I woke up really late. So let's go. Ooh. Door doesn't open all the way because of all my stuff. I guess these are the other house houses. I didn't see all that last night because it was freezing cold and I didn't want to explore. Let's just lock this in case. I know there's nobody here, but don't want my stuff stolen. Okay, whatever, that's not gonna lock. So this is the reason I didn't think there was a hotel here. <gasps> oh, kitty cat, is it cold? Because you have to go through this cutty ass little tiny, tiny hole. And I came up those stairs. Get all my stuff. Oh, is my bike still there? My bike's still there. There's where I spilled all the oil. And this is the scenery. So that was a little bit of a struggle. Um, the Grandma doesn't speak English, I don't speak Bosnian, so I was just trying to indicate like, no, no meat, no meat, yes, <laughs> um, language barrier, and so I just grabbed my phone and did Google, Google Translate and was like, I don't eat meat, um, translate to Bosnian, she's like, oh, 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 okay, so, we're, we're okay, this looks hella good, Okay, we cleaned our chain, we lubed it, we found this mirror on the floor, good thing it's not cracked. I was like, what's that little disc? Oh, it's my mirror. Unscrewed the little screw on the back, let the bulb go back in, and now we're loading up. Here's my oil spill. I looked at my tank, I have half a tank left and I think that's enough to get to the next gas station because um, I don't want to backtrack so here we go it's raining I'm gonna ride extra slow today um, it wasn't supposed to rain this area but maybe once I get through these mountains it'll stop raining Oh, my God. 
Man. I didn't know it was recording. Well, <laughs> I've dropped my bike again. So this is the Battle of Sutsjeka Memorial Monument. I walk this way. This memorial is very somber. Um, and as I walk all the way back down, I look up into the sky. So the sun wants to come out. So hopefully that's a message to say that's the end of these wars. And there's brighter days ahead. When I dropped it, I bent the wrist guard, so that was what the clutch was pressing up against, and that was stopping it from uh, releasing completely smoothly. So I <laughs> superhuman strength bended the plastic, and now we're okay. We can shift normally again, yay! Look at these mountains. They're hella cold! <laughs> and, um, so the first month of my trip was a very slow travel. I took my time, I rested, I recovered. And this second leg is just so much riding, which I'm fine with. Um, but it's really hard on the body when it's so cold. And I'm, uh, I'm not forced to move from place to place, but I don't want to be in one city just inside a hostel or a hotel waiting out the rain. Like, that's not what I want to experience this trip. Um, so my roots 
and days are really based on the weather. Um, and because it's like really getting into winter season during this region, there's a lot more rain and snow. And so it's really, it is really pushing me um, a lot faster, which is fine, um, but it's just a little hard on the body. Freaking A, I dropped my bike again. Like the strap of my backpack was stuck in my bike and so I couldn't get off my bike. And then the gas attendant was trying to help me and then he was holding the bike for me while I was, I was pulling myself out. And then another person pulled up to the gas so the gas attendant left and I didn't know that. So I was like pulling and then I dropped the bike and it fell, I couldn't pick it up. So people helped me. And great, I broke this mirror too. Well, guess. So. Okay, let me explain what happened. So I was pulled over at a gas station and my backpack, one of the straps was stuck in like the seat. I don't know, I guess it was blowing and somehow got caught and then I couldn't get off my bike so the gas attendant helped me hold the bike. The kickstand wasn't down so all this time I thought he was holding it but Another um, customer came in his car and he left to go help him and then I thought he was still there and then I like got in a position where I wasn't holding onto the bike anymore and then the bike fell and you know him and the customer helped to get up and then I pumped gas and then I ride off and then something's like wrong with my bike the pressure on the brake, the front brake, is like I can't press it and then like I just hear like a clicking from my front tire and I'm like okay this isn't normal and so I pull over because I can't go forward anymore and then I look and it looks like like it just looks like it's like locked or something and then maybe like five minutes go by, I'm trying to figure out what to do. I'm like uh, using my phone flashlight to look at the tire and then a car pulls up behind me and he's like, I'm an auto mechanic. I don't work on bikes, but I can try to help you. And I'm like, I think I could fix this. Like, look, can I just use your tools? And so I take the front um, brake caliper system off and then I try to put it back on and it doesn't, I'm having trouble putting it back on. And then he, calls he's like he calls his father-in-law who's been a rider for like 50 years and his father's gonna bring a motorcycle mechanic friend who has his own shop and so they both come in like 15 minutes and then they help me put the front brake back front um, caliper back on um, the front tire can move but the right brake the front brake it has lost all um, pressure and I think it's just like because the guy um, the mechanic released some of the fluid out and I was thinking like can we just refill the fluid and then it'll have pressure on it again because there's air bubbles we just need to bleed it and then he's like I think you need to replace the whole front caliper the brake I'm like I don't, I don't know I'm not the one that owns the shop but <laughs> Yeah, and um, so I don't have a front brake right now. It's probably like 10%. Like only when I squeeze in all, almost all the way, then I have some brake in it. Um, and I only have the rear brake. So I'm in Sarajevo right now. It's Thanksgiving. Um, and I want to be in Tuzla, which is two hours away. It's like 34 degrees, and I have about two hours to get there. And I figured that's two hours with a fully functioning motorcycle with a front brake, and um, it's. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go far slow because I don't have a front brake. Um, so it'll probably take me three or four hours. So yeah. I'm gonna eat a nice meal, be warm, and ride until like midnight tonight. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Okay, we're fed. Let's go.